How's it going, everybody? I'm David, and welcome back to Sugar Star. All right, so last time we left off, we were absol an absolute fucking pervert. Uh, we got, uh, we flashed someone to show our, our birthmark uh, on our titty. We saw a girl's titties, and uh, yeah, just overall, just not good. Um, and I believe we read that already. I feel like I've finally gotten myself straight in a way. Sure. Uh, sure hope I can make friends at school. I thought that was like, share, you know? Anyway. Hmm? Did hair come back? The view at night can't be beaten, but it's plenty pretty during the day, too. If the hills were a little less extreme, I don't think I'd have a single complaint. Oh! Contrails, contrails. Wait, what? Who is you? I haven't met you. Who's that? That's exactly my thought. A girl who practically excludes, exudes elegance stands before me. I was just making small talk because I assumed she was hair, so I'm a little embarrassed now. Is the convenience store far from here? Wow, she's beautiful. She's really tall, and her hair looks silky smooth. Can you stop ogling the girl and answer her damn question? <laughs> like, she wants the convenience to go to the convenience store to try a nice Dr. Pepper, but with the same great Dr. Pepper taste with a smooth, creamy finish. <sighs> Not sponsored, by the way. All right. Oh, fuck. Um, I can just picture her strolling along with a parasol out of the fend of the summer sun. Excuse me, is this the Sunshine Dorm? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Hmm. Who can be visiting at this hour? She doesn't look much older than me. Is she a student? What's the matter? You seem rather perturb 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 perturbed. Perturbed. That's the word, I think. Huh? Oh, nothing. Her probing eyes locked with mine only make me feel bashful. Sorry! I didn't mean to talk to you like I knew you. <laughs> I assumed you were that friendly with everyone. No, 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 I mean, I if God, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Calm down. You look petrified as this frog caught in the snake's hypnotizing gaze right now. Uh, that's probably how he feels. <laughs> Paralyzed with fear? Uh, sounds about right. Are you a resident of the Sunshine Dorm too? Ribbit! Would you terribly mind using human language, please? Uh, you're the one who started the whole frog thing. She once again looks off into the distance, gently holding down her fluttering hair. Do you perhaps live at this dorm too? Hmm? What? Yes, I suppose. That wasn't exactly a hard question. There's something about the rhythm of this conversation that's got me off my game. Huh. Isn't the view lovely? Uh, yeah, it is. The dorm I lived in before was closer to the city. The scenery was nowhere near as lovely as this. Yeah. Still, comparing this to every other first meeting I've had here, I'm happily... I'll happily take off my game over absolutely disastrous. Could this be the encounter I've been waiting for? Huh? Has anyone ever told you that you're superficial? A single crease appears before her eye, between her eyebrows. The only emotion I've seen on this girl's face since we started talking. No, I'd say this is the first time. Hmm. Uh. What my? <laughs> oh, that's a great four minutes in into this recording. We're already talking about our first time. Great job, David. One might say you're my first time! Why did you say it again in a more perverted way? I just wanted to liven things up with a little joke. Humor is the grease of a conversation, Zaxels, after all. Well, whatever. I moved to the storm because it's close to the vocational school. Nice to meet you. Same here. There's another girl here! What am I, her hair protagonist? Oh, does that mean this is your first time here, then? I'm two years older than the rest of you. Huh? I spent two years working to save up for tuition. She answers before I can ask. I guess I should defer to you then. 
A little overly polite, if you ask me. Well, if you're older than me, you make it sound like this is some sort of business. I did. She sets down her suitcase and pats her thighs. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I tried recording something and the audio mixture's fucked up, so you're never going to see that uh, video unless you go check out Bruce's channel, um, which he's the king of having his shit straight. So, you know. Anyway. Phew. My legs are tired from all this hiking. The only thing she's got with her is one large suitcase. Is that all you brought to move in here? Yes, just this. I was told that the rooms were already furnished. They are, yes, but the fridge is communal. Hmm, I see. She smirks boy boldly, not breaking eye contact for a moment. What's up with that little fucking crest in her lips there? Uh, wait, can you guys see my cursor? I believe you can. Let me, let me... I don't know if you can see my cursor. You probably don't know where my room is. In fact, I'd say you don't didn't even know I was moving in. Uh, right. Want me to go ask someone? Instead, could you call the landlord for me? I'd like to introduce myself first. She's more of a dorm mother than a landlord, but okay. Is Karu even awake? I suppose you're almost as new a resident as I am, so anyone who knows where I go would be acceptable. Huh? Did I say I just moved in yesterday? I could tell by looking at you. Well then, your iffy expression shows that you are bracing yourself. That's because you don't know the dorm, dorm mother well yet. Oh? That confirmed the suspicion I've, I'd have i already formed based on your earlier vague answers regarding the dorm. That's all it took? Well, there were other signs. You've been rolling your shoulders too, which would indicate that you're sleeping on an unfamiliar futon. Furthermore, you were quite moved by the scenery just now, yes? <laughs> Over an <laughs> Over analytical much? See? Add them all together and you have you must have just moved in. Wow! No ordinary person could deduce so much from such a quick conversation. She's a regular Sherlock Holmes! Er, uh, can I at least take you inside? Want me to carry your bag? This isn't a hotel, silly. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Bet you didn't deduce that I used to work at, as a bellhop. You're a poor liar. Try harder next time. <laughs> right this way, m'lady. <laughs> I do like boys with a sense of humor, though, so I'll allow it. She's like some kind of my reader! Scary! Well then, as we enter the dorm, the smell of cooked seafood wafts in from the cafeteria. And if you would, please leave your shoes here. Yes, sir. Once the girl puts her shoes away, she looks around the house a while before finally putting on a pair of indoor slippers. So have you eaten yet? Not yet, no. Great, everyone else is probably in the cafeteria, so why not grab a bite and introduce yourself? Are you sure? Ah, come on! Morning, everyone! We enter the cafeteria to find dishes already lined up on the table. Ichigo alone turns to face us, a bowl of rice in hand. G -g Good morning. Smells great, grilled fish. Yes, just plain old coho salmon. Mmm, man, my stomach's growling in anticipation. I don't mind having bread with a meal every now and then, but in the mornings, I just gotta have rice. Hey, stop waiting around and come on in. Hmm? The girl finally walks in, her eyes fixed on the floor. Oh, who's this? More new blood? Much like yesterday, Erica leaps into the conversation, deeply interested. Eyes glued to the television, Karu leans back lazily and waves. Welcome, Kana. I've been expecting you. Nice to meet you. Are you the dorm mother? Yep, that's me. I didn't hear your moving truck. Is it outside? Oh, yes. Um, I just... Erica is now mere inches away from the near girl. N the near girl. New girl. But her gaze is fixed on Karu. Karu, if someone is moving in, you should just tell us. I almost jumped out of my skin when a stranger was up in my business out of nowhere. <laughs> Come 
on. I couldn't ruin the fun for everyone by telling you all about the surprise transfer student before she showed up. Feel me? She didn't just forget? Come to think of it, everyone was startled when I arrived, too. Maybe if she'd actually told them, I wouldn't have gotten hit by Ichika. Uh, um... Ichika, mind whipping up a plate for Kana, too? Sure. Ichika reties her apron and heads back into the kitchen. Chopsticks, where are you? Aw. Ichika, were you the one who made breakfast? Hmm? Yes, why? Seriously? Do you do that every day? Yes, I'm the cook after all. No way! I figured they'd have some old lady doing it. Should I be helping around the house too? Sorry, I'm not an old lady. Uh, I'll get over it. Actually, I think I'd be pissed if some old lady woke me up yelling, Soup's on! Ichika's cooking is to die for. She's mastered the fundamentals, so everything comes out great. She handles the knife like a pro, too. She can fillet a live fish and it just keep on swimming. None the wiser. I call bullshit! Keiru, is it okay if I open a new pack of chopsticks? Um. Of course! I think they're over, uh, yeah, right there. Looks like everyone has had their own, has their own pair of chopsticks. Maybe the black ones I'm using are my own pair, too. Ichika rinses the new pair before putting the lid on a pot of miso soup and turning on the stove. E excuse me, I usually eat a light breakfast. Oh, got it. I'll make it on the small side. Sit wherever you like. Sure, thank you. She gently lowers herself into the nearest chair. Sorry if the voices sound similar, I'm not real good at uh, female voices. Wait, is the sun kind of fucking with me? It's not. Absolutely fucking fantastic. I cannot feel my cheeks, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Erica puts her elbows on the table and next to it as she continues to stare. Hey, come on! You gotta pay attention to me sooner or later! What's your name? Hey! You ignoring me? It's... Fuyatsuki. Okay, and your given name? Konami. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! You're Kana- You're- Kana Kana now! Kana Kana? Even cuter, right? I can't remember names unless I give them a little twist. Nice to meet you, Kana Kana. Hmm. Though- <laughs> Though Konami's face was expressionless before, she's got a bit of a blush coming on. I've... I've never been given a nickname before. Oh, you don't have any friends, do you, Kana Kana? Mm. Don't be rude! There's a fine line between rudeness and friendliness. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, consider me your friend. Me and... Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper with the same great taste, but with a creamy finish. I'm gonna hammer that joke, by the way. <laughs> Y'all are gonna get tired of it. Anyway. Huh? Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I was just yanking your chain. What? <laughs> Konami launches a brutal counterattack, and Erica goes down for the count. Man, this new girl is a champion fighter. Come to think of it, I don't remember you giving me a nickname. Wait, does that mean you didn't even bother to remember my name? Oh, man. Hmm, what should you be? Erica looks me up and down, apparently unable to find striking features. She's clearly lazy ab about her name, so if I had glasses, you can bet I'd be four eyes. Guy! You can at least put some actual thought into it. New guy. Konami is newer than me, though. Anyway, back to you. You seriously ha never had a nickname in your entire life? That's just weird. A normal person would it have at least one. Well, Konami is much more well-bred than you, so she probably didn't have to deal with any weirdos given her dumb nicknames. Right? 
Hey, you can at least react in some way. His mouth still asleep? Karu, her face resting in her hands, looks up at the clock with a grimace. Apparently, Mao isn't a morning person. Wait here a little while. I want to get everyone together so we can go through another round of quick introductions. Sure, I don't mind. Konami nods slightly, her posture straight and her eyes pointing down again. Every action of hers seemed calculated to appear cool and chic. So, this is the power of maturity. Wonder if in a couple of years I'll be as cool and collected as she is. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, could you wake her up? What? Why me? Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. I mean, it's not like Keiru is doing anything. Oh, Sagittarius number one today. Lucky me. She's just watching the daily horoscope. I think she'll get mad if I'm the one who wakes her up. Please, I've got a wicked hangover. If she doesn't wake up, you have my permission to play a naughty prank on her. Where's her room? <laughs> wow. I'm just gonna knock on the door. Each of these glares almost powerful enough to kill. <laughs> Let's see the furthest room on the right. Is this it? I hesitate for a moment, but there's no turning back now, so I politely knock on the door. Hello? Is she asleep? No, she's not answering, but I can hear her puttering around inside. Looks like she's awake. All right, might as well just go back to the cafeteria then. Uh, I said I'm awake. Gosh, cut it out. Whoa, she looks tired. Her hair's all over the place and her pajamas are a mess. Uh, hey, uh. What? What are you? you? What? what? Come down, they just wanted me to wake you up. I feel as though I'm intruding on her privacy. <laughs> I got a drink. All this voice acting is making my throat very hoarse. Oh? the gap in her collar, I can just barely see her bra. That's what you're worried about, dude? It's blue! And you say it out loud? What is wrong with you? Huh? Blue. Like a perfect day. Exactly the same shade as the sky I saw this morning. A gently light, warm to the world. Form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. Hello? You there? You've been looking at me awfully funny. Are you okay? At some point, Mal ran off. Shut up! And hid behind the door, and now she's poking her head around it to stare at me. Oh, sorry. Guess you are already awake. Hide, shush! Sorry, my dog. He's a very loud bitch. What the fuck I say? Can't you say I'm in the middle of something? No, I don't want to talk to you right now. Say hi to the people, and then shush. Hi, guys! My name's Hyde! I'm a dumb bitch! I hate David! I bark at all of his recordings and try to eat his fucking mic! Alright. Karu told me to, w to wake you up. Karu! I'm awake! I am clearly awake! Do I look asleep to you? Yeah. Do you think I'm a sleepwalker? These joyful little moments of accidental intim intimacy are just another part of dorm life. It's only my second day here, but I'm pretty sure I've had more conversation with the girls in these two days than in the rest of my life until now. Why'd she have to send the only boy? Ugh. Not much of a morning person, huh? It takes time for me to get my gear spinning. <laughs> the battery's dead, so the engine doesn't want to turn, right? You've got to really punch the gas to get this girl started. Can you guys see him? Yeah, you can, like, see his ear fucking wiggling and villain and around. Anyway, Dr. Pepper. Same great Dr. Pepper taste with a creamy finish. 
Yeah. Hey. What are you, a moped? Maybe I wasn't so far off with the sleeping walking <laughs> thing. Shut up. Uh, it's probably not a good luck hanging around a room like this for so long, is it? Anyway, you're awake. I'm going to go back now. Wait. Just as I turn to leave, I hear a regretful cry from the shadow of the door. Hmm? What's up? Surely she's not about to thank me. <laughs> You're really obviously staring at my bra. Next time, maybe try to be more thoughtful. Yes, ma'am. She can tell even though she's half asleep. God, can't stare at anybody's bra anymore. <laughs> the look on your face was totally sketchy. Sorry, I'm a guy. Comes with the territory. Hmm. Oh, I smell fish. Hooray, time for breakfast. Sure, got over that quick. Truly, she is a girl of powerful emotion. Anyway, hurry up and come with me. There's someone I want to introduce you to. Did you bring your girlfriend here? Yeah, you can say that. Wow. She looks like she just saw a blizzard in hell. <laughs> eh! Help! Was that hair? I'll go see what's going on. She said she was going to take a shower, so she must be in the bathroom, right? I don't want to barge in on her, so I'll call out to her first. Hey, you okay in there? Somebody! Anybody! Help! That doesn't sound good. I have no choice. Hey, are you okay? I get to see more boobs! Get to see more boobs! Well, he does, not me. Anyway, less censoring for me. I can't get the water to stop! Ah! What the heck? A piece of shower was broken off, so it's just spewing water endlessly. Alright. She's trying to hold it back with both hands, but the water pressure is too much for her to handle. Let me guess, we got a lot of jiggly bits? Just calm down, I'll fix it. I'd like to take off my clothes so they don't get soaked, but I can't very well do that, so I'm settling for tearing off just my t-shirt. Whoa, the whole valve is broken off. What do we do? Oh, the shut off, hit the shut off. Well, don't point the water at me, stupid. Ah! Hmm? I slip on the wet floor by my fall. <laughs> <laughs> More boobs! <laughs> I slip on the wet floor, but my fall is broken by something very, very soft. <laughs> Did she hit us like five times? In her life. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's hair titties! Wow, they're really nice. Wow, ah, don't look at me. Don't look. Sorry, I've just never seen them in the flesh before and I just got a little excited. Spare me the story, just stop staring and do something about the water. Oh, right, the water. Completely forgot about that with all the jiggly bits. All right, just wait a second. I think the main shut off is over here. Jeez. As I turn a big lever, the water pressure gradually decreases until the flow stops. All right, looks like we're good now. Thanks. Man, if you think about it, every time we meet, it's the same thing. One of us is always naked. <laughs> she smashes my jaw with a bucket. Well, you deserve that one, buddy. Thank you, I appreciate. Now forget you saw anything and get out of here right away. Gotcha. Oh, one more thing. Hmm. Breakfast is ready. Get out! We'll have to get that shower fixed later. Head spinning. Bucket hurts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Everyone is sitting around the table. Tabor. Fucking English. Do I speak it? Table talking. Their chopsticks still untouched. Apparently they were waiting for us to come before starting. <laughs> May I join you all for the walk to the school in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Lucky! I wish I was born five years earlier. 
Huh? Do your parents do music related work too? Well, no. I go away for five seconds and suddenly everyone's made a new friend. Three girls together make for a pretty lively conversation, so it's hard for a guy like me to jump in. I take a seat at one corner of the table, opposite of Konami. C good morning. Oh, hey. Mm. Hair arrives in her own seat, patting her still wet hair with a towel. Well, I just want to say this. You can't get upset with me. You said anybody come help. It's not my fault your tig old biddies were all jiggling and wet. Obviously, I was going to fucking look. Now, I didn't mean to look and stare and fill up on you, but you, you, you kind of blindsided me with water. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, wow. Your girlfriend's really pretty. Oh, well, actually, Mal, there you are. Finally, we've got everyone present. Karu claps, interrupting me. So, everyone, we have yet another new resident to meet today. Go on, Kana, speak up. Oh, all right. Bur burning under everyone's gaze as she stands. My name is Kanami Fuyitsuki, and I'll be attending Shirai Ernest Academy with you all. It's a pleasure to meet you. Quick and to the point, Konami sits down. A round of applause! Konami is two years older than the rest of you, but you'll all be in the same school year. Get along, kids! Oh, really? No wonder you seem so mature. Oh, wait, wrong voice! An older girl? This is hair, and the pit squeak is Mao. Hello. Who are you calling Pipsqueak? Just look at this chest. I... Why are you glaring at me? You're the one that said, look at this chest. I'm looking. It's not my fault. You told me to look. My intuition tells me I just missed out on observing some very enlightening girl talk. Ugh. Now on guard as well, <laughs> hair glares at me. What is up with all of you? Y'all are all flashing me your tickle biddies all over the place, telling me to go into the bathroom. Ichika's was cleaning. I got hit with a deck brush. I get hit with a bucket because hair needed help with the goddamn water. And now, Mal's mad because she said, look at her chest. What is up with you women and being upset with me because I am trying to help or I'm just doing what you fucking ask? Anyway. Glaring or not, her tits sure were evidently. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Same great Dr. Pepper taste with a creamy finish. Ah. Here's your plate. Ooh, thank you. She hands me a bowl of piping hot miso soup. I would kill for some miso soup right now. I'm so hungry, I don't want to wait. Hey, can we eat yet? Yeah, go for it. Now that we've got introductions done, let's dig in. Thanks for the food. Thanks for the food. Th thanks for the food. Konami puts her hands together wordlessly. This is getting more than a little repetitive, but I guess I should say it too before I start. Thanks for the food! Made by a beautiful titty bound goddess! <laughs> wow, it looks fantastic! What are you going to be studying, Konami? Music performance. I'm hoping to become a pianist. That's so cool! I can totally see you doing that! <laughs> It's a shame I haven't got the talent to go with the look. Hair's right, though. I can picture her sitting in an empty music classroom after dark, playing Chopin for herself. Hmm? Ishka! This miso soup is good as heck! It's leagues better than the soup my parents make. Is the broth different? You think so? I'm not very particular about my miso soup. She definitely gets an extra point for being a nice chef. <laughs> Roasted fish, pulled spinach, and even rolled omelets. I can't believe I'm eating this well this early in the morning. I'm gonna cry. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Mal? You're not eating. Mal ignores me, however, and abru abruptly puts down her chopsticks. Oh, it's about to go down, baby. It is about to go down. Konami, what exactly do you see in this boy? She points at me. 
Hmm? Him? Hey, Mal, I was just kidding about that. Hmm? But you two are dating, right? That was supposed to be a really obvious lie. But apparently she just ate that bullshit right up. <laughs> um... Oh. What? Really? Having processed everything, Konami looks at me in size and puts on a devilish grin. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> when we first met, his kindness struck a chord within me. What? Hey, wait! This isn't the first time you two have met? But the truth is, I came here because I wanted to be close to him. And she's just riding the obvious bullshit lie to the fucking sunset. <laughs> I guess I'm like a bunny rabbit. I was afraid I'd die of loneliness if he wasn't always in my life. Uh, she's screwing with me. And what's more, she's enjoying the heck out of it. Well, um, I guess congratulations. You better not shack up in your room all the time. Sh shack up? Where did this little girl learn that phrase? Don't worry, I'm not a screw. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that ruptured my belly. <laughs> wow, N not that I care. These, with what she said, that shook even Erica. Uh, hey, senpai, maybe? Hey, that's what you get for making me the butt of a joke. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget this lesson anytime soon. The hell? That was all a lie? You dipshits! I figured if I ran far enough with it, he, even he would regret his joke. Trust me, I regret it plenty. Konami puts down her bowl and looks directly at the other girls. So, back to the important things. Could you all tell me about this dorm? Ah, yeah. Well, we have made an arrangement regarding bath times and the like. There's only one bath for both boys and girls? Right, I bathe after midnight, so as long as you're done before that, everything should be A-OK. -okay. That's rather late. Yeah, it, isn't it gonna be hard on you, always waiting until midnight? I'm fine, really. But the fact remains that it's unfair to you. I don't think it's right to make you do that just because you're a guy. Wait, and here I thought Mao didn't like me. She might actually be a really sweet girl. How about we plan certain days where he can go when he can go first then? Like whenever he gets up early the next day, or if he ever feeling tired and really needs to hit the sack. Hmm. Well, I would appreciate that. Everyone shares a smile and nod. Does everyone share house duties in the storm? More or less, yeah. I see. But don't worry about that sort of thing today. You must be exhausted from moving in. All right, if there's anything I can do to help, though, just let me know. I can use a shoulder massage. <laughs> what? You said to say anything if I needed help. What a nice treat, don't you think? Sure didn't feel like one. Hell of a thing to say about your own torment. <laughs> Are you finished eating? Yes. Where would you like the dishes? You can just leave them there. All right, then. Thank you. Come on, I'll show you around the dorm real quick. Okay. I didn't get shown around the dorm. I just got thrusted into the shit. And I look like a complete fucking freak. Konami grabs her suitcase from the corner and extends the handle, rolling it alongside her as she goes. Do we take care, uh, take the cable car to school? Yep, remember the big dorm just out of Sacron... That S word? That's where we get on. That's the dorm Akira's living at. Wait, so we have to walk all the way there and back every day? The cable car runs in a loop around the city, so pretty much at wherever you're going, walking there is your first step. Oh, really? School starts tomorrow, so I should take today to explore the city. 
I want to learn about where to shop for things. Mm, so good. Honestly, it made me happy when Mal was nice to me before. And I'd probably feel lonely if I went around all by myself. So maybe I should invite her. Hmm? What do you want? Mal, do you have plans today? Huh? Why? I was thinking about checking out downtown, but it'd be weird if I went alone. So I was thinking maybe you'd like to come with. But I want to check out the shops and stuff. Hmm. You're not planning any funny business, are you? I'm actually a little hurt by that. All of this other shit was either jokes, accidents, or just fucking coincidences that really just fucking happened. Not like I planned any of it. Mm hmm. Mal glances around to make sure that Hare and Ichika aren't looking, then turns back to me. Well, I guess I don't really have anything I need to do today. Can I take that as a yes? Hmm, fine, I guess. I can't very well say no to a request from my senpai. How nice of you. <sighs> my mom is going to be visiting in a few days, and I'll need to show her around anyway. That's the only reason I'm coming. Cool, so we're going then? Yes. The way I figured it, the worst she could have done was say no, right? No reason not to try. Though, uh, does this mean we're going on a date? All right, while we're there, we should look for a replacement part for the shower. Hey, Productive! Hmm? I change clothes and wait for Mal outside the dorm for a few minutes. Sorry for taking so long. Aw, I just got here. Don't worry about it. This isn't a date. No cheesy date lines, please. It isn't? It is not. So she says... <laughs> but you sure got dressed up for the part, didn't you? Dead or not, she's wearing a cute outfit, so forgive me if I'm a little pumped up for it anyway. If you meant for it to be a date, then I should... Come on now, don't be like that. Let's go. All right. Ah, my wrist. <laughs> I have put an indent on my pad <laughs> where my mouse is. Uh, walking side by side makes our height difference very apparent. Hey, you're not trying to casually hold hands, are you? Even I wouldn't go that far. Both uncomfortable now, we continue walking, wordless. I bet we look like an awkward new couple on their way home from school. Hey. Yeah? How do you get on a cable car anyway? Huh? You know, I'm not the best person to ask. I've never ridden one either. Probably the same as a bus though, right? But in movies, people always have to run after the cable car and jump onto it, you know? <laughs> True. If that's the right way to do it, it's a pretty intense mode of public transportation. Yeah, I guess you just kind of jog up alongside it and hop on. That sounds like a lot for me. You'll have to go first and pull me on. I had you pegged as someone with good motor skills. The fear of messing up and hurting myself makes me go stiff as a board. So she's a worrier. You're tall and strong looking. Do it for me, please. Fine, fine. I'll take care of it. Yay! <laughs> Contrary to our fears, the cable car comes to a gentle stop in front of the station. Huh. Wow, it's so cute! Huh? It is? We board and the cable car starts moving again. Mal stands on the steps, gripping the rail as she watches the scenery. I love it! It's like we've been transported to an amusement park. I gotta admit, this is a pretty chic way to travel. There are booths we could sit in, and but it's a nice leaning out and feeling the wind on our faces. The inside is brightly decorated, like aiming to attract the young. Thank you for riding today. My name is Mal and I will be your guide. <laughs> Yay! Mal holds up her hand like a tour guide gathering her group. If you look to her right, you'll see... What is it? Your right hand. I'm just looking at my hand? Show us something better. <laughs> I bet my mom would love writing this. Alright. Oh shit, what did she say? 
Man, she suddenly looks really cute. Unlike me, you seem to really care about your parents. Do you not get along with yours? Well, I wouldn't go that far. It's just complicated. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. They got me into a bunch of debt and we had to move away in the middle of the night. Like I wasn't really uh, already worried enough about my future. Huh? How about that? Wait, what? You all just up and disappeared? Yep, I think they bought into some sketchy stock that went south. I don't like thinking about it, but I remember I was pissed. I was studying for my next school's interest exams, and they came along and told me, Hey, uh, we're not paying your tuition, so you're done with school. And then went off to hole up at a relative's house while I scrambled to find a job. Oh, that sucks. Then after a while of me stressing out over not getting any job offers, they flipped the script. We got rich quick, so all our debt is gone. You can go to whatever school you want, okay? Anyway, things fixed themselves, and now I'm back at school. That's crazy. If it were me, I'd get pretty worked up whenever I talked about it, but you're as cool as a cucumber. It's like some crazy TV drama, right? So what made you choose Ernest? I think I mentioned this before, but my aunt manages that dorm, so she decided to see if I was still interested in vocational school. And I didn't have any specific dream for the future. I just wanted the freedom to choose something I wanted to do. So yeah. Hmm. To someone who's working hard toward a clear goal, I probably just look like I'm skating through life. No, I wouldn't say. Mal meets my gaze, her eyes a little sad. I guess that was a lot to take in. I'm majoring in the creatives field for now, but the school has this unique elective system, right? Oh, right. That thing where you can take classes in other subjects? Yeah, that... I figured out a school with those kind of options would give me a chance to figure out what I really want to do. That makes sense. So yeah, that probably still sounds irresponsible, but I swear by the time I graduate, I'm going to learn a trade and follow my dreams. Or something like that. All right then. Holding fast to the rail, Mal finally grins. Now there's something I've been meaning to ask you about. How come you call me Senpai? Hmm? I wasn't held back a year or anything, so I assume we're the same age. Oh, well... It gives me a funny feeling inside, having a girl call me that. Even though we're the same age. Actually, I'm a year younger than you. Huh? You are? So, uh, something happened at school and I got permission to graduate. So, now I'm going to this school year early. Seriously? In other words, you skipped a grade. Uh, yeah, you could say it like that. Wow, and here I thought she was kind of dumb. She's actually super smart! Don't read too much into it or anything. It's just kind of happened. I've never met someone who skipped a grade. <laughs> Are you a genius? Uh, really, it's no big deal. Even junior high graduates can get into vocational school with a bit of money, right? That's the whole story. No way. A normal person wouldn't be approved to graduate that early. I guess this means I can't tease her for being dumb anymore. I guess not. Jeez, this is why I don't tell anyone. People always react like that. Then why did you tell me? Um, well, you told me your secret. <laughs> I uh, wasn't keeping that a secret, but hey, if that's how she sees it, I don't mind. All right, this can be our little secret. Stop saying creepy stuff. Only if you stop being creeped out by everything I say. <laughs> so I'm her senpai, huh? For this year, Mao is the only one who will see me that way. Oh, we're almost there. We really are. Before I realize it, we're in the middle of traffic. We must be getting close to downtown. The two of us grab some change from our wallets and wait for the next station. I mean, hey! I mean, I, I, I've always wanted to be somebody's senpai. And we've arrived. Mao hops out of the cable car. Is there anything you want to see? I don't mind checking out anywhere you plan to take your mom. But you're the one who invited me. I thought you had somewhere you wanted to go. Mm, kinda, but I really just wanted to look around the shops. Oh, I know. One of those showers in the bathroom broke, so I figured we could find a replacement part. You come somewhere fun like this, and that boring errand is the best you can come up with to do? Jeez, sorry for being boring. I was just trying to be responsible. But hey, you live in the dorm too. Do you like having a broken shower? <laughs> I guess not. Let's go. 
Oh, wait up. What's wrong? Look, what am I looking at? I look where Mal's pointing at and see a familiar figure. Isn't that Kon Konami over there? It is. When did she get here? Where do you think she's going? Who knows? Maybe some solo shopping. Mao and I look at each other and share a mischievous grin. Wanna tail her? Uh, what do you take me for? Clearly, we're just doing going the same way as her. Totally. Ha <laughs> ha! What a crazy coincidence. <laughs> as though unaware of her surroundings, Kaname makes for her destination walking with the brisk strut of a model. Slow down! She walks so too darn fast, we'll never catch up! Her incredible speed makes us wonder where she's rushing off to, but eventually she ducks into a perfectly ordinary boutique. She buying clothes? I wonder. Kaname doesn't seem to be enjoying her shopping trip. She looks around with her usual sullen expression. Reaching for an article of clothing, she gazes at it blankly a moment, not betraying a hint of emotion, then returns it to the shelf. This is kind of boring. Don't say that. She's just serious about picking up clothing, okay? Maybe you're right. She's always wearing such a mature, stylish clothes. Wait, look! Oh? Konami stops in front of a large bin and grabs a doll of a mascot character. <laughs> oh, she, she giggled! Is she into cute things? Mm -hmm. Oh, she nodded all satisfied and put that weird doll in her basket! An unexpected development. Uh, this time she picks up a doll I recognize, one of the gourmet friends. They're a recent fad consisting of food with faces on them. Hmm. 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 Wait, what is she nodding about? She's buying that one too? This is really weird. I had her pegged for the sort of person who would buy nice shoes or elegant accessories or like recordings of classical music. And here she's buying cute dolls. Made eye contact. <laughs> Konami closes her eyes and sighs, walking towards us. Um. <laughs> Peeping is a lovely hobby, is it not? Oh, glad you think so. That was sarcasm. Next time you update your resume, try write peeping in the hobby section. Someday, surely you'll find a job looking for someone with your unique P word that I don't know. I doubt that. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you have something to say? You're such a sweetheart, Konami. Mal nudges Konami teasingly with her soldier. Mm -hmm. a, a young family member is coming over to play later. That's all. Oh, really? Make sure to introduce me to them. You're surprisingly bad at lying. <laughs> She's kept a perfect poker face as long as I've known her, but now she's clearly shaken. Aw, don't feel bad. It's actually a relief. Why is that? Even a cool collected girl like you has a cool, cute side. Mm. Her name was Mal, right? Yes. Mm. Could you lend me a thousand yen? I forgot to withdraw money. <laughs> she didn't even make an excuse. Oh, sure, no problem. Here you go. Thank you. I'll pay you back later. That was a bold request to make. She put it off with grace, respect, Konami. So, what about that thing there? Do you think that's cute? Mm. Yes. Ooh. What do you like about it? Look here. Konami grades the weird-looking skinny creature by its neck and shows it to us. It's Kokonana. Uh-huh. It has an itty-bitty face. Mm-hmm. So? Choconana? Yes, Choconana from the Gourmet Friends. It's adorable. Uh-huh. I have no idea how to respond. The chopstick is its leg, but it only has one, so it's all flamingo. Mm-hmm. Uh. Uh. I'm leaving. She's totally embarrassed. 
Kinda stuffs the money she borrowed back in Mao's hand and rushes out the store. Hehe. <laughs> wow, Kanami was really cute just now. Yeah, that'll be good material to mess with her later. <laughs> I thought she was intimidating, but it's nice to see she's a sweetheart deep down. Ah, I guess. After that, we strolled aimlessly around the city for a while. Well, while they stroll aimlessly, we must bring our journey to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and episode of Sugar Style. If you like the episode, go down and hit the, the, the like button with all your power. Also, if you want to become a good egg, just go down below and hit that subscribe button. I'll see all you amazing, beautiful people in the next video. High five.